Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to the ch I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Uh so today I got a hamper from my job and I thought let's film me trying this stuff. It's from hampers.com. Basically, do I really want to explain this? There is an American company, so I think it's kind of an American thing that they give these care packages to us every now and then. Sometimes they've got like tops in. Um, I'll show you another thing. But this is one of the other things that they gave us. It's like a thermos flask thing. They just send random things every now and then. And that was with like a t-shirt. Anyway, anyway, anyway. This was, oh, <laughs> this was a box that they sent. And it's got, well, let me open it on camera. It's like this. So this is all the stuff that's inside. Cool. So yeah, oh, it's actually kind of heavy. So that's all the stuff that's inside. It says save the occasion, and I'm gonna film myself, myself, myself. I'm gonna film me trying this food. First thing is this. These are Yorkshire crisps, but look at the flavour. See, it's kind of like a posh food hamper. And like, I'm sorry, but I'm Greg sausage roll is better than a posh sausage roll kind of girl. Do you know what I mean? Like the cheap food sometimes, if it's not broke, why fix it? So this is oyster, chili and lemon flavor. Like what's wrong with a good old salt and vinegar? That's my question. Um, but yeah, it comes in this little thing, which is kind of fancy. Like who sees crisps in a tin? And then it's got this like metal thing on it. Um, Okay, they, they kind of smell a bit weird. They smell like... I don't even know what they smell like. I honestly don't even know what they smell like. This is going to be really bad because I'm really bad at explaining things. But they're this kind of colour. They're like an orangey colour. I also have water on standby, so if, if I need it, I've got it. they're weird i mean i don't get the oyster i'm not gonna lie i do not get the oyster yeah the more i'm eating them kind of like prawn cocktail all right but not like amazing but i guess it's a different kind of novelty isn't it yeah a little bit chili -y, but they're not spicy like chili heat wave doritos they are not spicy in comparison like to be fair they do taste like prawn cocktail with like lemony like a little zing of them but prawn cocktail next thing this is literally just the first thing i picked up oh ground coffee not really sure how we're gonna try this one and equally it doesn't say whether it's like ground instant coffee percolator coffee coffee machine coffee it's this coffee if anyone's interested this is the pack i mean it's quite fancy edinburgh tea and coffee company mm. i've also noticed there's tea as well so that's the tea that's in here um not gonna lie i'm not a massive fan of like that was my belly. Did you hear that? That was my belly. Maybe my belly didn't agree with them crisps. Afternoon tea blend. That's like a normal blend, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I'm not a massive fan of the, like, normal tea. I don't mind, like, mint tea. Also, what is my hair today? Like, I've just gone for a simple ponytail because it's quick, but it looks like a pineapple. There used to be a teacher at my school, and she always used to wear her hair like this, but it was higher. Like... So like this high, but then sprouted out like this. We used to call a pineapple head. Not to her face, obviously, she was terrifying. Next thing, next thing. Okay, let's go with these. Mr. Filbert's dry roast peanuts. Looks like they're just normal peanuts. Dairy, gluten, and artificial additives free. Let's try these out. I mean, they just kind of look like nuts. 
I mean, they're just like dry roasted nuts, but. Mmm, okay. They're a bit of a weird texture. Ooh, and flavour. Wow. They're quite vinegary. Vinegary? They're very barbecuey. You know, like a KP nut, if I compare these to like a KP nut. They're really like barbecuey, which it doesn't say, it just says dry roasted nuts. It says that they're a British company. Maybe these are all like British things, I've just realised. Because the crisps are from Yorkshire, they're not so made in Britain. I think it might be a British company, like a, a British hamper, like the theme of British produced food, maybe, because obviously the tea is Edinburgh. This says England on it at the top. Maybe as we go along, I mean, like I've just picked up this, which is the next thing. Um, the the nuts, by the way, they're okay, but they're very barbecue. Like if you like barbecue sauce, then you would like these because it's literally very barbecuey, very. Anyway, next thing is this. Um, this is looks like that. Um, it says gourmet marshmallow. Belinda Clark, wonder who she is. Salted caramel, but this as well says Winchester. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, let's not over complicate things. Um, indulge a little, live a lot. I like that. What does this say? Has anyone ever heard of Belinda Clark? I feel like I should have heard of her. Equally, why am I struggling so much to get in this pack? Oh, here we go, here we go. I'm in. It just looks like giant marshmallows, like, it's just one big marshmallow. Also, I'm not like a huge fan of marshmallows. Like, I don't mind them with other things, but I wouldn't normally eat one just like this. I mean, they are massive. They're like, you know, like when you make a s'more, these would be good s'more. If you don't know what s'more is, it's basically where you get a I mean, if you don't know what s'more is, go make one right now because I amazing. You get a biscuit, you get like a chocolate digest... <coughs> Pardon me. You get like a biscuit, let's say a chocolate digestive or something or whatever. If you get a chocolate digestive, it's easier to see because the biscuit's already got chocolate on it and then you put a marshmallow and then you put one on top and you put it in like a microwave and then the marshmallow melts with the chocolate. Amazing. But you can also get like a normal biscuit and then just put like a chocolate button on it. But anyway... Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you remember how, like, 20 minutes ago, it wasn't 20 minutes ago, 10 seconds ago I said I didn't like marshmallows? I'm not like I'm a, not huge like a huge, huge fan of marshmallows. marshmallows. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's insane. I mean, it's got, it says sort of caramel and it's obviously got pictures of, like, fudge on it. Legit. It tastes like fudge. It tastes like fudge. And even the texture, like normally it's the texture that I don't like. You know when they're like super gelatiny, like you eat into it and it's like, which is weird because the marshmallow. But you know what I mean? It's like hard work to eat. These literally like dissolved, like they hit my tongue and they dissolved in my mouth. Oh my god! Whoever Belinda is, I don't know, but I've got to go Google her because these are insane. I don't know. Right, I'm sorry, Belinda Clark, whoever you are, you are chef who deserves a lot because they're amazing. Right, people, go out, buy them, eat one, tell me what you think, comment down below, go back, come back. All that hard work, but honestly, worth it. They were. I'm going to have another one. Mmm. Mmm. The best. You get, like, quite a few in a pack as well. Or... I guess it depends how much they are. Obviously, like I said, this was a gift from work, so I do not know. Staying on the sweet front, I saw these. The packaging of this is really smart. Or I think so anyway. It's like something out of like Harrods or I don't know. Equally, you know how I said about how I think that this is like an English box? Like everything in here is from the UK. Uh, this says Holland. 
so maybe I was wrong. But I've not really explained them. These are, well, I'm not really sure. Uh, the most delicious chocolate since 1863. That is a big statement, my friend. I wonder if there's people like watching this from Holland and being like, they're the most famous chocolates around here. Um, Drost. I don't know how you say that. Drost. D R O S T E. Drosty. Drosty. Don't know. They come in like a packet like this. See that came like that came out. It's kind of like a crisp packet. It's like really quite hard as well. I wonder if they're going to be like toffee. Ooh. Ooh. They smell good. I'm not like normally the biggest fan of caramel, but. They look like little buttons and they've got like the logo on them. Again, I don't really get caramel. And plus, mine is like, like I'm trying to get one and they're all like stuck together. And I am one for like, look, they're all stuck. I am one for like chocolate in the fridge. Even chocolate in the freezer. You know, I do like my chocolate cold they're all right kind of like a milk chocolate with bits of salt but you can't really taste the salt like tiny bits of like crunchy bit but i think the most delicious delicious chocolate since 1863 if you like milk chocolate i mean personally i am a dark chocolate fan i do like milk chocolate but i mean personally cadbury girl all the way just the whole Cadbury range. I'm a very sweet, like sweet over savoury, but Cadbury is my favourite type of chocolate. And this is not Cadbury. So, but okay, okay, all the same. Should we stay on? This is intriguing me. Um, it's like in a little basket. I was just terrified. My door just like pushed open the tiniest bit. Obviously there's food in here. So who's gonna join me? But Florence Nightingale. Cause I've got chocolate. I got food. Can you hear this dog smelling the food? No honey. She does love food, our Flo. She ate like, what was it that she got into one time? Oh, like a box of chocolates, like over Christmas. We had to take her to the vet and it was this whole thing and she was like being forced to be sick or something like that because she had all this chocolate in her. <sighs> She's just a massive pig. She basically runs after her mum. Anyway, back into the video. These are the next thing. Traditionally made lemon biscuits. I just love how they're in this like, I love the packaging on this one. I mean... Do you know what you could do? Like make some biscuits and put them in here and give it to a friend or something. These are them. Cute little packaging. And then you open it. That's not so exciting, is it? Let's be honest. It's kind of underwhelming. Like you think, oh, that's so cute. And then you come out and it's like, but then again, how else can you like package biscuits? There's probably only so many ways. I guess the tray's cute. Look, they're on like a little tray. Um... Ooh, they look kind of fancy as well. Ooh, they smell so good. They they smell really lemony. And equally, I don't know why I just got one from like the middle when I could have got the end one. They smell really lemony. They look like this. Legit just kind of look like a biscuit. I don't know why. I thought they looked a little bit shortbread -y, So I thought they were going to be like shortbread, but... No, I guess they kind of are. Yeah, these are nice. They're kind of... They would go nice with, like, a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. They would definitely go nice with, like, something warm. I want to say they're, like, shortbread, but shortbread's kind of soft. And they've definitely got a crunch. But they kind of taste a bit like shortbread. Which is weird. But they're nice. Hmm. Nice and lemony, too. And I just love this packaging. Like, I just think that's so cute. I keep looking at these. But I'm pretty sure... I've had a food hamper from work before and I'm pretty sure these were in it. There was definitely a popcorn in there that, and honestly, it was amazing. And that's why I thought I would do a little taste test because last time, some of it was not like okay, like the crisps, like they're okay, but they're just like fancy crisps, but other things. And um, it's kind of nice as well because it's lots of like independent 
smaller businesses like obviously you've got like butter kiss which is hugely well known but this is obviously you can tell it's just a obviously smaller company joe and seth and uh, gourmet it says joe and seth gourmet popcorn chef and connoisseur salted caramel gourmet popcorn a marvelous combination of sweet and salty air pop popcorn coated in smooth caramel with a hint of sea salt again i always feel like these kind of independent companies like it's gluten free suitable for vegetarians no artificial colors or flavors and i don't know just like even the packaging it's just it's just nice it's just nice so obviously rip across here do you know what I like about this as well? I don't know if you can see, but it's like resealable. And popcorns, like me and Luke get popcorn all the time. And half the time we eat like a good, well, we most of the time we eat the whole pack. But sometimes there'll be like bits at the bottom. And then you go to eat it the next day and it's gone soft. But I can just tell, like, wish I could show you this popcorn better. It just looks like good popcorn. Like, you know when you get a good bit, like the whole pack is like the good bits. Mm. oh my god i think it was this company last time honestly with the marshmallow go and get this smooth caramel with a hint of sea salt but that's nice because it's not like stupidly sweet okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop because i will eat the whole pack last sweet thing is this it looks really fancy doesn't it it's just basically a box of chocolates hamlet never heard of that brand but it would make a cute gift, wouldn't it? Really looks nice. Oh, I like packaging like this as well. I feel like that's one one other thing. Like these smaller independent brands. I mean, obviously I don't know what Hamlet is. So it might actually be a massive brand. But I do feel like they take more care with their packaging. I mean, it's just a box of chocolates. Like I don't... I mean, it does look nice. But I don't understand how different could it be for this one i read the little book and it says it's chocolate orange so yeah nice i mean it's a box of chocolates like it kind of looks a little bit like thornton's to me like it's just a chocolate like a normal i mean you can get like milk tray thornton's uh, uh black magic if you like dark chocolate it just kind of tastes like that so it, nice yeah nice chocolate but nothing like oh my god insane like this insane but that was just yeah it was a chocolate okay next thing we're now going back to savory i feel like i should have ate these at the beginning but i wanted to end on savory so these are black mm. pepper crackers i mean i don't again i don't know how amazing these can be it's basically a cracker i'm gonna butcher this but verduin 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 I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, we've got another one of these like pulley things again. Why am I so excited by that? It's, it's like opening an Amazon parcel. But it's not. It's crackers. Oh, they look fancy. They're thin. They're like really thin. Look at them. Oh my God. Have you ever seen? I'm not holding it well. Have you ever seen a biscuit like this? Look at that. Look at the detail on that. Have you ever seen a biscuit like that? so pretty i kind of don't want to eat it but i'm gonna mm. these are really nice like obviously you can put it with cheese or something but even on their own they're really moorish mm. see this is a nice thing as well like i've never heard of that brand but now i'm like intrigued to see do they do more because it says they're best seller but do they do more and I don't know like these would be really good if you had like a party like imagine just spreading these out because of the pattern that they have on them like it just looks high end i mean obviously like i say i don't know any of the prices should we just quickly google this one so i've just found their website and they do they do loads look um they've got rosemary sesame so they sound nice um they are i mean i don't know how much biscuits are normally i don't really go out and buy crackers like on the reg but two pound fifty i mean you get a fair amount how much was that for i mean two pound fifty for 85 grams this is 75 so it's a smaller one but i think that is kind of on the pricier side but i think that's normally what you get like with the kind of independent or premium brands is that they are normally a little bit more expensive but i would say that they're worth it like if you'd had the, like for example if you wouldn't buy these every day like you would buy them if you had an occasion say if you were doing like 
Is it called a charcuterie board? If it's called a charcuterie board, I'm going to be freaking impressed with myself. But they're not the type of biscuit that you would buy like, oh, I fancy cheese and crackers and then bought them. Unless you're like bougie as hell, which if you are, go for it, girl. The last two things, and I have been saving them till the end because I didn't know what the heck I'm going to eat them with. But they're jams. So obviously I've got strawberry jam and marmalade. Um, not going to lie, I don't think I've ever had marmalade. Have I ever had marmalade before? I really don't know if I've ever had marmalade before, but it says as well on it, great taste. So, all good things. And the company's called Thursday Cottage. They are quite cute though, these little jars. Um, should we go with the jam first? No, let's go with the marmalade first, because if the jam's horrible, we'll end on the jam. I mean, if the marmalade's horrible. I don't know what I said. I've, I've lost the plot. Did I ever have the plot? I don't know, but I don't know what that smells like. Do you, I mean, obviously I wouldn't really normally eat it on its own, but I'm going to have a little bit on its own first. Oh, okay. It's quite bitter. It has like a bitter aftertone. Aftertone? After note? I just went and did some toast, I'm not going to lie. Got a little bit caught. That's not too bad, actually. From a toast point of view... I mean, I completely missed the edges. I like the toaster. I mean, as marmalades go, I, I, I haven't had that many, but it was nice. So it's kind of weird though, like it's sweet, but it does have a bit of a bitter aftertone, which I don't know if that's the same with all marmalades or just because this is like a blood orange marmalade, uh, but it's very orangey and pretty nice. Finally, I do love the sound of this, so let's give you a little ASMR. Again, this is where I feel like, oh, trying to focus on. Again, this is where I feel like the whole cheaper is better could play out, because obviously this is like a very fancy jam, um, and I am one for like a cheap strawberry jam you know like the ones that are like bright red and this is like a healthy jam oh it's very zingy okay i kind of take that back i don't know if i can show you this it's got lots of pips in you know how i said the other one had like big chunks of peel in this is like the same it's got like fresh fruit i guess why am I like panting? Oh god, I'm not even done anything. I'm just sat here and I'm legit panting. Oh, look how big this slice of bread is. It's like the same size as my head. What's that about? Hmm? I mean, as strawberry jams go, it's not bad. But me personally, I do like a kind of smoother jam. That's just personal opinion though. Like, that's just on me. That's got nothing to do with the jam itself because it's just very like you do crunch on the little pips but nice flavor so yeah so i've just had a look for their website because obviously it's got their website on the box um hampers.com is obviously the one and i found one here which i'm pretty sure this is the box so it's got the strawberry jam the marmalade the biscuits so I'm pretty sure that's my box there. Um, that looks about right to me in regards to like what's in it. £39 it says, which I think is fairly average for one of these hamper box things. Um, I mean, it's a good size and you get a lot in it. Like you do get a lot. Obviously they are quite, like they're not, it's like a mini version, isn't it? Like it's a smaller size and then you can go to that company if you want to buy more, um, which I would definitely be doing of this popcorn. But, um, yeah, it makes a good present, I guess, as well. Like, if someone, I don't know, if you weren't sure what to buy. Actually, a Christmas present. Hmm. Or, like, I think if you had, like, an intolerance as well, because a lot of the stuff's gluten-free. Uh, but, yeah, no, highly recommend. That's all the food. Um, I would say overall this is probably my least favourite and this is my favourite. Just personal opinion, because I'm not really keen on barbecue flavored stuff like barbecue sauce flavored and that's kind of what that was kind of what this is these however insane 
I am a fan of popcorn anyway, but I feel like these are just next level. So I am going to be going on their website and seeing what these other 40 flavours are. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, then please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. What are you hanging about at? It's completely free. And I put out videos every Friday, so see you next week. Bye for now.